creating your Apple Teacher Badge. First, you're going to log into your Apple Teacher website, and then you're going to look up at the top for the word profile. When you get there, look on the left-hand side, and you're going to select Report and Certificate. Of course, it tells you to celebrate every step, yay! So you're going to scroll down, and you'll see where it says Get Your Apple Teacher Logo. You'll click on that link. Another congratulations, Apple Teacher. I'm going to scroll down because there are some other little perks and benefits. Like you can see you have a signature that you can use, but there are specific guidelines if you're interested. So make sure you read that if you're going to try to use your signature there. I'm going to scroll down further. When you get to the spot that says share with your community, you'll notice there's a little place for you to add your Apple Teacher badge to your profile photo for Twitter. Um, in order to get the frame, you'll click Get Your Profile Frame. And then you'll see that there is a download Twitter profile image template, so you want to click on that. I'm in Safari, so I can see here is the keynote that I'm going to open up. There we go. And this is what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to share with you how this works best for me, but essentially it says double tap here and then I've selected the little circle, right? What I like to do is just delete the circle, so I'm hit delete, and I'm gonna grab a shape, which is a circle, and I'm gonna make sure that it takes up the majority of this frame here, because I know from past experience in working with Keynote that if I drag a picture inside of a circle, it acts as a frame. So let's see, we'll get it pretty close, there we go, okay? Then what you need to do is find a photo of yourself with a clear background. Since I don't happen to have one, I'm going to use the website remove.bg. And I know you've learned about Instant Alpha, but just trust me, this is easier for the background to be removed behind you, especially if you have a busy background. So, okay, upload an image. And just like that, magic occurs. Um, and so this is what my picture looks like with the removed background. So I'm going to click download. And now I've downloaded the photo of myself without a background. Um, so I'm going to get back to a three, my template. And I'm going to open up my finder. And under downloads, loaded, downloads, downloaded that photo of myself. So I'm going to click and drag it in. Now remember, that blue circle is gone now because it's been replaced. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my slider, make myself the perfect size, and then click Done. And since my photo is now in front of my badge, I wanna make sure while it's selected, I go to Format, Arrange, and I'm gonna move it backwards. <clears throat> that doesn't look so great, so I'm just gonna double click and maybe resize it a little bit so that it looks the way I'd like it to look. Once you're finished creating your badge, you wanna make sure that you export to an image. So I'm gonna to go to File, Export, Images. And now it's going to save this to my desktop. Okay, go ahead and minimize everything. So I can see here's my folder with Apple Teacher Twitter profile, and inside is the photo of myself. So you want to make sure that you send that photo to your instructional and technology specialist, and we'll go ahead and add your Apple Teacher badge to our Apple Vanguard page.